We're Marianne and Chris, and we've been traveling full-time since 2018. We're currently spending a few weeks in the country of Georgia. A country with fantastic mountain views, crazy roads, and even crazier driving. You can't see, what is that? And let's not forget unusual architecture, delicious food, and cows on the road. <coughs> So we had a good night's sleep here last night. It was very quiet. This morning we've woken up. It's a magical blue sky. We're gonna be heading straight north and going almost up to the Russian border because uh, there's a very cool place that we've seen that looks quite picturesque that uh, we thought we have to go and check out. So let's hit the road. One thing you see driving around Georgia is uh, lots of forts. It just shows, I suppose, their past that they've had. I was pausing them because the cars in front were overtaken on a corner. I suddenly thought, is this a one-way road? But no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it or not <laughs> yeah this is the uh, the original road that we were planning to head into Russia uh, last year before COVID it will be next spring now where we either come this way or go uh, or go through Azerbaijan right quick stop at the uh, the spa for a few essentials we need loo roll it's funny because we've got a spa shop right next to us in Telford. The spa seems to be the main supermarket over here. Right, we're all stocked up and I even managed to find a sausage roll for breakfast. I found toilet paper that says spa three ply toilet paper. In English. <laughs> so the route we're going today takes us up into the mountains and you can just see them in the distance there. One of the good things about going up into the mountains is that the nighttime temperatures are cooler, which when you're sleeping in the van, it makes a massive difference. And of course, being from the UK, our van is insulated. Oh, so it yes. is made to hold the heat in, which uh, in, in 35 degrees, you can, uh, you can definitely feel it. Funny buying these pastries because apart from the sausage roll where you could see the sausage we had no idea what was in them so we ordered one of each there was three this one's actually got like refried beans and potatoes inside that's the first got lovely views over this lake look at the color of that water it's like bluey green This is the main trading route to Russia. Police just doing a little stop there. Yeah, through the uh, police stop. They're doing uh, lots of uh, checks here on all these lorries heading up to Russia. And we're just coming into the mountains. It's looking very picturesque. The only problem with eating sausage rolls is most of the pastry goes on your lap. <laughs> Holy moly! Every time a car overtakes on the corner, I just have to close my eyes and hold my breath. It's just nuts. Looking at the trees, you can see uh, autumn is coming. They're just starting to change colour there. Lovely, you can see uh, wild horses there drinking in the river. It's a very nice drive up this valley today. See lots of rafts by the side of the road because uh, rafting on the river down here seems to be a thing. Yeah, there's a lorry coming. 
everyone just went on the other side of the road and then suddenly we were stuck boxed in by all these lorries and there's a lorry coming right at us <laughs> yeah there oh, there's one broken down lorry that's the culprit overtake on a corner oh there's a car coming oh uh, flip it heck I'll just hold my breath. We just have to edge down because they're all queued up here again. I don't like being on the wrong side of the road over here. This, I'm just trying to explain to Marianne. She's like, why are you so stressed? I'm like, I'm holding my breath when other cars go round the corner and overtake on the wrong side of the road. Let alone when I'm doing it. Oh my Lord. I'm not sure what the protocol is there. Everybody seems to be just going. I don't understand why everything's stopped. They can't be queued for the border area, it's about 30 miles. They have, look. As far as the eye can see, there's lorries. The policeman waved his arms, looked up to God, as if like, why are we stopping? Well, probably because there's traffic like that and we're on the wrong side of the road. Well, if you do come up this road, be be prepared to uh, overtake literally mile after mile after mile after mile of parked lorries. Oh, that's a bit tight. I've genuinely never seen anything like it. And then as if by magic, a few more miles and there's no lorries queuing. I don't understand. If anybody knows, please do let us know, I'm really curious. So being the main road from uh, Georgia into Russia, and indeed this part of the world into Russia, um, we were expecting probably a bigger road and more, more fuel stations and things like that. We haven't passed a petrol station. We saw one petrol hut, but we haven't seen a petrol station. We've only got about a quarter of a tank of fuel left. These roads are getting quite mountainous now. We're getting higher and higher. Wow, look at this. We're really getting up into the mountains now. It's getting cool now, the air temperature's cooled down loads. It's much nicer, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I know we go on about the temperature quite a lot, but when you're editing in the van, and it's 35 outside and probably 45 inside, and uh, it's really, really hot. You have to put the fans on the computers because otherwise they overheat. And it's been odd, really, because we live in a van and usually move with the season, but due to the pandemic and borders being shut, yeah. we can't actually been a challenge. So we're just coming into the town uh, near Gudori and uh, this area of Georgia has I think skiing again in the winter. It's starting to look a bit more of a tourist hot spot. So because we're in the town we've managed to find a, uh, a petrol station which is always good best to top up while we can see it never let yourself run too low Heather, hey we would never do that we're professionals <laughs> all fueled up and uh, we've got about 15 minutes to go you can see the ski lifts going up going up there last time we got went on a ski lift in Mestia what happened love <laughs> <laughs> we got stuck. So you can just see in the distance the monument that we're heading to. Oh my goodness. Looks like a bit of an old tunnel here. Look at this. It's, 
big holes in the road there. Look at this view here, how isolated is this? Paragliders there. We've arrived, it's just there like. That's where we're, uh, we're aiming for. Here we go. Your destination is on the left. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, just wait. Oh my goodness. You came in the wrong side, you naughty. So after driving up here, it's actually 2,200 meters high, which is about the height of Ushguli. And if you want to know what happens to air, this is what happens to the bag of Chris that we bought. That's bizarre. We just want to say a oh, massive congratulations to this two lovely couple who got married today. Oh, Look at that. Beautiful. I'm, I'm happy for you guys. That's and so cool. And what are cool. your names? Uh, I'm Serge. This is Juliet. Oh. The wedding planner, Elena. Link <laughs> 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 right in the description right below. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You have got the best job. I love weddings. Yeah. Yeah, I love weddings. Yeah. And this is a very beautiful place for photographs. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. We just took a photo with goats, with oh. like mountain goats. They came no. down from the mountains and there was this guy, like the, the farmer. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. So well done guys, that's so Congratulations. awesome. Congratulations. Welcome to the Russian Georgia Friendship Monument here in the north of Georgia, also known as the Treaty of Georgievesk Monument. It was built in 1983 to commemorate the bicentennial of the Georgievesk Treaty which basically put Georgia under a Russian protectorate. And where we're located is literally 42 kilometers from the Russian border, that way. How close are we to getting into Russia? And looking at this uh, monument here in the distance, it's a huge concrete circle clad with stonework with a beautiful mosaic in the middle that depicts both Georgian and Russian history. So this is where we've parked uh, Trudy for the night. There's a little car park here. Amazing drops. I mean, like literally nuts with no barriers. Look how high we are. The sun's quite bright over there, just going down. The monument over here. It's spectacular. These views and the roads driving here were nuts. Beautiful nuts. It's funny as we're walking up towards the monument, there's a real uh, mix of touristic activities here. Uh, they're making the most of all the tourists that are coming to visit. We've seen Russian number plates, Azerbaijani number plates, um, and a Dutch number plate as well. A lovely young couple called Karina and Rob, um, who hopefully will meet us in the south of Turkey when they drive back through. But yeah, you can see horse riding going on and quad biking and uh, paragliding something I've always been a little bit interested in having a go. So it's evening time right now um, and the lighting is phenomenal. It's hitting and bouncing off these mosaic tiles. Do you know, I'm a little bit speechless. All the way round, they've got these arches with absolutely breathtaking views all the way round through each arch here, looking over the valley. Look at this, the perfect place to come and have your photo taken. I'm literally blown away by the, uh, the views here today. Absolutely spectacular. You can see each archway is constructed with like a metal support system there and it's filled with rocks all cemented together. It's an incredible structure. People from all over the world come to see this. The sun is just starting to go down behind us 
and uh, it's turning into a wonderful evening look at that for a view honestly i'm absolutely blown away the winds just started to pick up so um i'm just dashing back to truders uh, because I'm a bit concerned about our solar panel. We have magnets and she's, they're magneted on. The solar panel is magneted on and attached, but obviously it's an expensive bit of kit. So I need to make sure she's safe. So uh, yeah, the solar panels are still on the front of the van. So we've paid up to park here for the night. It was only five lari, which is just over a pound. Marianne's kind of gone a bit nuts and she's booked, subject to weather, to do the paragliding tomorrow which will be great i love it it will be great it will be great i love it she does all these nuts things um so yeah fingers crossed so uh, we're gonna park up here for the night how cold is it it's wonderful this was definitely a good call i can edit tomorrow without sweating all over my computer it actually feels a little cold i know and i used google translate to book the paragliding <laughs> and the guy said you are my sugar and i oh. him and he was like no 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 who's <laughs> just arrived we have got a shepherd walking past with his sheep how cool is that just keeping them off the road look at the size of these trucks we're actually going to move forward a little bit to find a flatter spot so we will see you in the morning